vicious, cunning, extremely violent. That's how a retired detective describes now 49-year-old Richard Matt. Matt was convicted in 2008 of kidnapping his ex-boss, William Pickerson Sr., who owned a food delivery business. At the trial, an accomplice testified the man he called Rick Matt tortured the elderly businessman, tossing him in a car trunk for 27 hours before snapping his neck. And it didn't stop there. Matt then dismembered Pickerson's body. The accomplice testifying, quote, he cut up the torso and he said that he threw the legs in the Niagara River. Before he could stand trial for that murder, he escaped to Mexico, where he soon killed another American in a bar. He was thrown in a Mexican prison and extradited to New York to stand trial for the Pickerson homicide. Years earlier in upstate New York, Matt had escaped a different prison facility while serving time for burglary. These are really dangerous, desperate men. They are literally killers. The second fugitive is 35-year-old David Sweat. He is serving life without parole for the 2002 murder of Broome County Sheriff's Deputy Kevin Tarcia. Sweat and an accomplice had just robbed a gun store when they were confronted by the deputy, shooting him at least 12 times. At the maximum security prison from which the men escaped, Matt and Sweat had adjoining cells. They worked in the prison tailor shop with a female employee, now suspected of helping the two men break out. Deborah Feyerick, CNN, New York.